Hey guys, so uh, I wrote a post on Reddit um, about the dropping the seed and uh, persisting seeming possible contradiction. And um, in this post, uh, sorry, there's a chunk on my phone. In this post, there was um, some examples. I wrote some examples about how um, you drop the seed and then persist, just like dumb little things. But um, I figured I would make a video. People seem to enjoy that. So I figured I would make a video running through how, you know, some general manifestations could play out um, potentially, of course. These are just, you know, little things I'm dreaming up on the fly here. I haven't even thought about this. But, um, you know, just to give you an idea of you know, what is and is not, I think, a contradiction. So let's say that you decide, that's not the right word. I just made a video about this. Let's say that you get to the point where you know that you are going to find the right relationship. You just know it in your gut, you know it in your heart, and that's that. Doesn't matter what the 3D reality is telling you about how many people are available or what kind of like losers there are on Tinder or whatever, Whatever your 3D avatar's judgments are, um, you know that you are going to get into the right relationship despite what the 3D circumstances uh, seem to be showing you. Okay, so here's an example of something that could happen, um, that could still happen even though you feel that way. Um, you meet somebody uh, and you guys start talking and the relationship uh, feels really good and you're really excited about this and you know in your heart that you're gonna end up in the right thing and man, this person really seems like they are the uh, gift, you know, the, the they are the uh, fulfillment of this manifestation, okay? Then, and you think, you know, based on everything you have going on rationally in your mind, you think this relationship is going to move forward. Um, and then you get ghosted, okay? So what happens in this scenario uh, for you to end up in the right relationship uh, that you wanna be in, that you know you're gonna be in? Um, well, you have to persist in the knowing. You disregard what just happened in 3D and you don't allow it to sway you away from your knowing. You just know, okay, that wasn't it. That wasn't the person, that wasn't the one I'm gonna end up with, but I don't care, I still know. I still know that I'm gonna end up with the right person. I know it, I know it, I know it, it's done. Uh, and then you end up meeting the right person and you end up in the relationship that you knew you were gonna end up in. Now, if you, uh, if you took that s scenario where you got ghosted and then said, you know what, um, all this, certainty and knowing is a crock of shit and it's pretty clear that this is just wishful thinking and uh you know the dating pool sucks and the world's a tough place and i'm probably not going to get what i want um and you let all of these thoughts seep in and just kind of ruin this beautiful sense of knowing that you got somehow from whatever technique you use or however you got there um, then that can definitely change things. That could definitely uh, just put you right back in the place where you won't even recognize that person when they show up in your life. So that's one example. Um, another one would be that you want to end up, I'm sure you can see where this is going. Um, another one would be, you know, you, you want a job and you want, you know, you, you get to the point where you know in your gut, you just know that the right career for you, the right occupation for you that you enjoy, that pays you enough money, that gives you whatever the thing is that you want from a career or a job or whatever, you just know you're gonna end up there. Even though you hate the job you're in now, you know you're gonna end up in the right thing. So then you get recruited for a job that sounds amazing. And you're like, oh my God, this is the hand of God coming down and I didn't even have to apply for a job. I got recruited. Uh, it's perfect for me. You go in, you go through 15 interviews. Uh, finally, you get your amazing job offer. And then uh, right when you're about to start, the company goes bankrupt and closes. 
and obviously your job offer is gone. Now, persisting at that point is no different than the last example. Um, you know, it all played out perfectly. You're like, oh my God, this is the bridge of incidents. It's everything Neville said. This is all true. And look at this amazing, perfect series of events that led me to this perfect thing. Boom, it's gone. That's the point at which you have to persist in the knowing feeling. Um, you know, you can be crabby in 3D about it. You can be totally pissed. It doesn't matter what your rational mind and your, you know, you can do that. You just have to remain true to that sense of knowing. You have to know that while your earth avatar is throwing a fit about its circumstances that the inner you, your higher self, whatever, knows it's already done. You know, like a little kid throwing a tantrum. The parent, you know, the parent you needs to know it's already done while the kid you is kind of just like um, being pissed at, you know, the injustice of having to go through all this crap. Um, you will still end up getting the thing you want as long as you persist. You have to remember that it's done. Just remind yourself that it's done. And um, a little add-on to these little two examples is that I find personally that I am often so glad I didn't get the thing that my rational brain thought I wanted. The specific person that didn't call me back or the specific job that looked so great. You know, often with the benefit of hindsight, you can look back and say, wow, that person really wasn't very good for me. Uh, you know, I was, I was overly excited because I wanted this relationship and I believed it was going to happen. So I wanted it to be that person. Um, you know, or same thing with the job. Like often looking back, you find that the thing you didn't get that your rational brain had decided it wanted was actually not at all the right thing for you. You know, your higher self, the part of you that is connected to God, divine intelligence, that knows the thing that will make you happy. Um, there's a lot of, uh, there's just a lot of like BS talk on the forums about how I know what I want and how can you tell me I don't know what I want? Because your rational mind is is not the thing that makes any of this happen. And it's it doesn't know as much as you think it does. Like, you know, you don't have the vision from this level. You don't, you don't have, you're not flying at, you know, 35,000 feet. You're on ground level. So you can't see the five chest moves ahead. Um, and you have to trust that your higher self can. This thing that is connected to you all the time that knows everything that you truly want, that is familiar with everything in your soul or however you want to put it, whatever flowery hippie way you want to put it. Um, your higher self knows what you want. Your higher self is you. 